Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Libra Sun Moon Rising for August 2021. But if you happen to come across this reading outside of August, it's okay. It's still a timeless reading and the messages do come to you when you are meant to see them. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, guys, Guardians, Ancestors, Angels, Ancient Gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Libra Sun Moon Rising regarding their love life. What does Libra need to know at this time? What love messages do you have for Libra at this time? Ooh, Ace of Wands. Nice. Passionate relationship. Either coming towards you if you're looking for love or if you're in a relationship and, you know, things haven't gotten um, hot yet because it's new, it's definitely going in that direction. I'm seeing a new beginning, a passionate relationship. Um lots of growth okay so like i said for some of you that are in a relationship if your concern is is this going anywhere yes coming up I, i'm seeing a lot of growth here things are definitely going to start heating up and getting better okay any other messages for libra this is also a big fat yes if you have a yes or no question could also be a lot of sexual activity okay let's see Okay, Knight of Wands, a lot of fire energy here for you, uh, Libra. Uh, excitement, I'm being told excitement. There's a lot of excitement um, surrounding you at this time. So with the Knight of Wands, I'm feeling here, this is someone, um, for those of you that are single, this is someone that's going to be um, coming into your life quickly. Like if, if you're single and you're looking for love, this is going to be something that just happens real fast and you guys are just going to hit it off. And there's just, it's just going to be like a, like a love at first sight, I'm being told. And, and it's just going to be a, a very intense. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's get some more messages here for you. Uh, for others, this can be, like I said, if, if your relationship is like on and off, hot and cold, you know, where things are like hot and heavy and then it kind of dies down it's like a back and forth thing um i see that changing very quickly and it, it's going to be intense i'm hearing for a while okay so what other messages do we have for libra regarding their love life what else does libra need to know at this time regarding their love life okay what love messages do we have for libra Ooh, all right. Okay, let's see. This one flipped first, so I'm going to read this one first. Okay, so we have the golden mirror. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Okay, so for some of you, this is a relationship that you were uh, dealing with in the past. For others, this is... Like I said, if you're in a relationship now and it's like hot and cold on and off, I feel that you feel that the relationship is one-sided. Now, having said that, there is going to be growth. Things are going to change, okay? And it's going to happen like that. Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting, all right? So like I said also, for those of you looking for love, this is coming in fast. This is going to happen soon and it's going to be intense and um, just a lot of activity between you. Okay, girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Okay, so for some of you, this may be just a one night stand, you know? Um, this might be somebody that you're on and off with, you know, like your, uh, your fun buddy, okay? And this is just something, or this, if you don't have one, not saying like, oh my God, everybody should have one. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if you don't have one, this might be the time that you end up getting one. You may not have even considered it, thought about it. It's just something, boom, happened quickly. Didn't even realize it. And then it was like, oh, look at that, you know. Um, you might also end up falling in love with this person. This could be, you know, this could be actually here somebody that is a player, Okay, and so normally, if this is a friend of yours that's a player, now if this resonates or you know somebody like this in your life, please comment down below. This I'm seeing for some of you, this is a friend of yours that's a player, and you guys are going to end up hooking up, 
and you're both single and everything, just this person plays a lot, but I, I feel because you're friends and all good relationships start off as a friendship because you get to know each other on a real level without, you know, putting up a facade and this and that. So I feel that's what's going on here. So for some of you, your playboy or playgirl friend um, is actually going to be somebody that you may be hooking up with. Okay. So let's see, we're going to go to my initials, traits, and features, Oracle deck, and we're going to use the initials. Who is this person that Libra is going to be getting involved with? I'm going to word it that way because there's different situations here because it is a general reading. So I don't read it as, well, this is just the one scenario. There's multiple. Okay, so whichever situation resonates with you, let's see who is Libra dealing with. Give us some more details for Libra, please. Who is Libra dealing with? So I'm just using the letters to get initials, and then I'm going to use the traits and features to get more details because, like I said, this is a general reading. So last shuffle, who is Libra dealing with? Okay. I'm going to try and refrain from saying names also, um, unless I'm really strongly compelled to do so. Um, I try not to say too much sometimes because... I want you guys to connect with it on your own. Okay, so we have the letters F and K coming through. It could be just F, just K, um, however it resonates. Now, I know I said I'm not going to say names unless I'm compelled to. I'm being told to say Franklin. So Frank or Franklin, whoever that's for, or female that goes by Frankie. Um, F, K could be their favorite dirty word. Um, I'm also getting like... Um, France and Kansas is coming through. So it could be somebody from those areas where someone is French, uh, love French food. You know, it's however you connect it. I'm also getting Kentucky. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken is coming through. Just the messages, but it connects with people. You know, it, you might meet, meet them at a KFC. You never know. Okay, why? Okay, so yeah, I'm seeing that. Okay, D. The letter M, MD, so somebody might be uh, a medical physician or a doctor or just in the medical profession of some kind. And then we have the letter V. So however this resonates with you. Um, also, DMV, somebody might work at the Department of Motor Vehicles. You may meet them there, um, however it resonates. So we have FKYDMV. This can be the initials of your person or an initial of your person, or any way that these letters connect with you specifically to describe this person. Now, if this is somebody new coming into your life, of course, you're not going to know any of this right now. So I suggest you put this video to your uh, watch list, watch later, so you can always come back to it. Or just, you know, make notes in your phone of the letters and stuff, so you'll have it on you. Okay, so let's see. Traits and features. What are the traits and features of the person that Libra is dealing with? What are the traits and features of the person that Libra is dealing with? So maybe the letters don't resonate with you, but the traits and features will. All right. So what are the traits and features that actually flipped? I'm going to take that. Okay. So let's see. What are the traits and features of the person that Libra is dealing with? Okay, so we have sexy, independent, scars. Now, this could be uh, physical scars or emotional scars. Now, bald is also here. So I'm seeing somebody might have like a scar on their head that you can see because they're bald. Tall. Affectionate. Wealthy. And then we have hair here. So as far as hair goes, now keep in mind, I know we have bald and we have hair. This is a general reading. Okay, so they can be bald, but hairy, excuse me. Mishka, stop. Sorry, dog sitting. So they can be bald, but like a hairy body. Or because it's a general reading, for some of you, your person is bald. And for others, there's something to do with hair. It could be, um, for example, if it's a female, they have luxurious hair, you love their hair, the color of their hair, the style of their hair, however it resonates with you. Okay, let's see, what other messages do we have for you? 
I'm going to pull my Chakra Love cards. It's a new deck I got. Love it. Okay, let's see. What other messages do we have for Libra regarding their love life? Okay, so we have here, all right, so for some of you, the sacral chakra, carnelian for the crystal, if you're into crystal healing, your message is letting go. Letting go is not giving up. Sometimes it is the first step towards success. So for some of you, you might be in a relationship with someone that is narcissistic and it's one-sided and you may be guided to move on. We have moving on here, happily single, okay? And this one says letting go. So for some of you, if that resonates with you, you're being told it's okay to let go. You have a passionate relationship that's going to give you growth and happiness and stability that will be coming towards you, but you have to let go of this in order to get that one, okay? And then here, I'm going to read this one. Security, root chakra, garnet for the crystal. To feel more secure, deepen your connection with nature, okay? So... Deepen your connection with nature and also with security regarding this. You're going to let go and this person that's going to be coming in is going to give you that feeling of security, uh, protection, love, okay, that you, you don't feel you're getting in this relationship now because the person you're dealing with is selfish. They're all about themselves and they're not thinking of you first or for the most part, I'm hearing at all. Um, then we have manifestation, solar plexus chakra. Okay, topaz for the crystal. Manifestation is the fruition of confidence and belief. Okay, so feel secure in yourself. Feel secure in your manifestations. You need to build up your confidence and belief that you do deserve to be loved. You do deserve happiness. And it is on the way, but you have to get rid of the bad to make room for the good. For those of you that that resonates with, okay? Okay, so let's see. What other messages do we have here? Okay, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Libra? Let's get some more details about this new person coming into your life. Let's see what kind of music they like to listen to and what they may look like. Any other messages for Libra regarding their love life, please, and thank you. Oh, just got the one coming through, last shuffle. Thank you. All right. So we have pop music, Michael Jackson. They may share the name Michael, be a huge Michael Jackson fan, or just like pop music in general. Also the letter K. We have another K here. So we can add that in case it's like double K in the name. Oh, Blue Soul R&B, BB King, another K. I know that looks so bad. You saw me shuffle. Okay. Blue Soul R&B, BB King may play the guitar have a mustache, and then, oh, a lot of kings here. Rock and roll, Elvis. Okay, I'm, he I'm being told all these Ks here, all these kings, because that's what this is in the deck, is really this person, for some of you, that this person really thinks they're above everyone. They think they're the king, so they should be treated kingly but they're not treating you like a queen. So it's like, mm, don't work that way. Ah, oh, my favorite, rock and roll, Kurt Cobain. Okay, and then we have the number eight coming through. So that could be, you know, we, we are doing this reading for August. So confirming some change here or, or new love coming in August, okay? This person may um, also be born in August, okay? All right, so let's see. What advice do we have for you? I'm gonna go to here. This is my other new deck. Let's try this out. Let's see. Love these cards. What other advice do we have for Libra? We got a lot of details here about who this person is that you're dealing with, who's going to be coming into your life, what they may look like, characteristics, the kind of music they like. What messages do we have for you? Because we have different 
different things going on here. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have sanctity. Through offering, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. And then we have divine love. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. So just those of you that are in, you know, this not so great relationship, just release it to the divine. And in return, the universe is going to show you love and appreciation with this new relationship that comes in. Okay. And then we have grounded. Many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. So just stay grounded. Don't let anybody uh, make you feel you're worthless or you're not, you know, capable of being loved or anything negative. Just stay grounded in who you are and what you have to offer and that you, you deserve to be loved and you will be loved. Okay. All right. So those are your messages. Libra, thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. If you would like to follow me on TikTok for daily content, please uh, check out the link down below in the description box. If you'd like to purchase the Oracle deck, it's only 25 bucks. You can go to zenwithinme.com or my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me, and I have lots of other products on there. Peace and love, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading.